Hi everyone. Uh, so I was recently going through the Blender release notes for version 3.4 alpha and I'm happy to share that there's a brand new feature coming to Eevee which I'm sure you'll be very excited about. So let's go to Blender 3.4 release notes, go to Eevee and viewport and you'll see here one of the new features is headless rendering is now supported under Linux. So you can probably guess from the title, but that means that you're going to be able to render your EV scenes on Google Colab now. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, go over to my GitHub account and go to my Blender Google GPU repository. And I've already created this new Jupyter Notebook page here called Blender EV Colab. You can either download this Jupyter Notebook and upload it to your uh, Google Drive account or your um, Colab account. Uh, or you can just copy and paste these scripts as we go along into your um, Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. So for this tutorial, I've just gone to the demo files on the Blender website and just downloaded the Ember Forest uh, Blender scene, which is rendered using EV. I then uploaded this Blender file to my Google Drive here, just in the root directory under my drive, and it's called forest.blend. Next, we'll jump over into Google Colab. If I'm going too quickly, just check out my other tutorials on Google Colab and Blender, and that'll explain everything you need to know. So it's pretty similar to the previous Google Colab code, which I wrote for Cycles, uh, but I'll just go through the steps in a bit more detail. So this first line here uh, just imports a Python uh, module that allows us to automatically find the installation of Blender on Google Colab. Uh, I just did this to simplify the whole code a little bit, so hopefully it makes more sense, but uh, just run this cell here. Then you want to, as usual, connect your Google Drive to your Google Colab account. So just run that. It'll ask this question here saying, do you want to permit this notebook to access your Google Drive files? Just say connect to Google Drive. So once you've finished giving permission to Google Drive to connect to Google Colab, you'll see here it's mounted at slash content slash drive. And if you go over here to the folder, you can see here in our current directory, there's a folder called Drive, My Drive, and it's showing all the files that are currently in my Google Drive account here, including the forest.blend file. So the next step, as usual, is to download uh, Blender to Google Colab. For this, we're going to need Blender version 3.4 alpha, because that's the only version of Blender that currently supports EV on Google Colab. So to do that, go to the Blender website, press download. Currently, the current stable release is Blender 3.3, which won't support that. So we need to scroll down and go to Blender Experimental. Click Linux. You can see here we've got Blender 3.4 Alpha. Right click on this, go Copy Link. Go back to your Google Colab page. And where it says here, wget, highlight this bit here and just paste in the new release of Blender 3.4. And I've modified the code slightly so that when it downloads the version of Blender, it will rename it blenderdownload.tar.xz. So that just simplifies the whole thing a little bit. So now that I've pasted that uh, link to Blender version 3.4, you can just run that. And you can see it'll start downloading uh, Blender to your Google Colab account. Okay, so that's finished downloading, and you can see here on the left-hand side, I now have a file called blenderdownload.tar.xz, so that's our Blender version 3.4 zip file. So you can then run this line of code here, which will copy this file onto your Google Drive, so that you don't have to download it every time you want to run this. And then next time you run it, just comment that out by putting a hash symbol, uncomment this line, and it says copy the Blender download zip file back onto Google Colab but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial because I've already downloaded it. Next step is to unzip that file. So you just need to run this line of code here. Okay, so now if I just refresh the page over here, you can see we now have the unzipped Blender 3.4 folder and there's the Blender executable there. Just to simplify the script a little bit more, rather than having to retype this long file name every single time in multiple points in this code, uh, I've just got this a uh, bit of code here that will just find the Blender executable automatically. So if you run that, so it's found the path to that, and we'll use that in a minute to run it. Uh, but the next stage of the code is exactly the same as well. So you can specify the file name of the Blender file that you want to run. 
So in this case, I want to render the forest.blend file, and you can get that path by just going here to Drive, My Drive. I've uploaded the forest.blend file to my Google Drive, so I can just press these dots here and go Copy Path. And in these inverted commas, I can just paste that path in there. And then you can just run that line. And here's where the magic of this bit of code comes into play. So rather than having to write this long path here for Blender, it's just going to get the um, path here that we calculated earlier. Uh, so dot slash the dollar sign Blender path will just paste this into here so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, minus B file name just tells it to uh, render this file. We want no audio as usual. We want to save the output of the render to my Google Drive. Minus F1 means just render the first frame of the file and minus capital F PNG just uh, tells it to save it as a PNG. You may have to modify the Blender file on your local computer and set the output type manually to PNG. Uh, but because we're running an EV, we don't need to have any of the extra options like dash dash cycles and uh, optics and CUDA and all that. It just works as is. So let's just press render. You can see it's loading Blender version 3.4. It's loaded the forest.blend file. There's a few errors here about rigid bodies, but we don't need to worry about that. And you can see it's now rendering the scene. We've done one of 64 samples, 51 of 64, and it's done. And you can see it's saved the render to my Google Drive and called it 0001.exr. And it took 10 seconds to do that. Now, if we go back to my Google Drive, you can see we have this 0001.exr file here. And I can just save that to my desktop by right clicking and press download. And I've just opened up that file in Affinity Photo on my local computer. And you can see there's the rendered image from Google Colab. And this was done using Eevee on Google Colab. And that's how easy it is. In fact, it's probably a lot easier than rendering cycles on Google Colab. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And if you found it useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again.